and welcome back to just wing it ladies and gentlemen welcome back boys and girls welcome back ladies and gentlemen welcome back rc model aviation enthusiasts all across the globe what do we have today today we have the new e-flight uh umx twin otter okay got her all bound up ready to go got the lights going okay and uh there's some activity and traffic going on over there so and i've got a bit of a crosswind believe it or not coming from my back uh, it's it's coming this way basically right so I'm gonna take off from the uh, spool I'm gonna do the tabletop takeoff and then I'm gonna have to immediately sort of go into a uh, go into a left turn and I'm just gonna stay right out here basically we're just gonna sort of play out here and eventually we'll land her into the wind on the runway that's the plan let's see if that works <laughs> okay, this thing's got plenty of power so I don't think the takeoff's going to be an issue, all right? Again, take off and immediately have to do a little bit of a left turn, and we're going to work uh, the grass and kind of show you what this plane can do kind of close in, all right? All right, so here we go. Ready? One, two, three, blast off. And there we are. All right, she's right into her bank. Um, and, yeah, as you can clearly see, this plane does really well in a small area. It really does. Right now we're coming into the wind effectively. She's doing all right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh-oh, that big plane just crashed. It's right out there. See it, see it by the, uh, watch this. I'm going to get the twin otter going into the wind here. Right out there. Big plane just crashed. Uh-oh. Hope it's okay. All right. So we're going to wander around out here. One less uh, plane to worry about. Uh, just kidding. I hate it when, when people go in. Um, don't know what happened, but hey, it happens, right? Uh, and, I get, and I agree with my, my, my friend Adam, by the way. I really do. We're going to go ahead and, and slow things down. I really do. That uh, I don't really think that all planes have an expiration date. I disagree with that. Um, I, I, I think that uh, if it happens, it happens because it was either pilot error or there was a mechanical issue of some sort. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's batteries. Who knows, right? So, anyway... Let's go ahead and we're going to bring the otter, uh, twin otter around. And we're going to slip her a little bit this way. Yeah, I can feel there's some wind going. To, it's uh, not bad. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I really do. So we're going to slow way down. Because i got some wind to play with now. So we're just going to keep it right here. And sorry for the sun. That's bad. Let me... Uh, let me turn her around this way. There we are. All right. Yeah, and again, sorry for these little hat cam videos, but this is all I've got is a hat cam. So I, I really appreciate you folks. Uh, enjoy watching them um, as much as I enjoy making them. I have a lot of fun flying. Hey, I should, I should stand on the end. What do we got? Three minutes remaining. Okay, so let's, let's stand over here in the circle. The circle burners, right? Where these guys do the uh, control line, huh? All right. Come on, there you go. Keep that thing nice and cranked. Look at that. Wow, I actually had to turn out, come out of that turn because it was just so, so uh, sharp, right? Look at that. Wow. Wow, this little thing will get in tight. So like those guys in the in the Midwest, like in Michigan and all that, they're flying, they're flying in a, a daggum gym. So that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, real tight. <laughs> Much tighter than I would ever want to do. Yeah, you can kind of horse the thing around. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so not bad. I mean, this plane is funny, but uh, it's got just so much power. I mean, it'll just do all kinds of crazy non-scale aerobatics, at least for a twin otter. Um, and with the, with the control diff, it'll, it'll definitely handle this wind, right? Let's do a nice big old loop. About 50% throttle on the way down. Yeah, so not bad. A little, little, uh, little bit of a windsurf, I'm not quite. Let me see how... Let me see... How slow I can get this thing. Not too slow. <laughs> it's about to hit. It's not bad. All right, okay. Well, we're uh, going to go ahead and land her. And again, I'm just sort of goofing around. And uh, there you go. Now, uh, by the way, if people are saying, hey, I got a lot of, uh, or it's got like a, a, a tail 
low appearance just because I'm actually holding a lot of, of up elevator in uh, during these turns to kind of plant the airplane okay I don't know if that makes any sense to you but uh, you kind of plant the aircraft in those turns and I'm using an elevator to do that so so there you go we're gonna line her up into the wind here Look at that. That's not bad. That's pretty slow. I don't think that uh, that Turbo Beaver is uh, in, in a whole lot of trouble. Okay, the wind is kicking up pretty good. I can feel it on the, my, my uh, back. So, yeah. Not bad. All right. All righty then. Let's go ahead and bring her in. I got something crazy there in the runway. Wow, what is that? Anyway, is that the wind? Yeah, that's the wind. Okay. <laughs> I got into ground effect and didn't want to come out. All right, we're going to go ahead and go down here. My circle, I call this my circle of death, even though it's not. And let's go ahead and line her up for a landing this time. All right, here we go. All right. Ooh, I even hit the circle. What do you know about that, huh? What do you know about that? All right. Whoa. Hey there, tiger. Slow down. <laughs> All right. See if I can get her back here without uh, tipping the thing over. Oh, I almost did. You see that? All right. Let's go ahead and gently roll the throttle on. Come on, baby. There you go. The little baby twin otter. There you go. All right. Cool. All right. And uh, there we are. So uh, this is the uh, new E-Flight UMX twin otter. Um, this plane flies on basically the UMX Ultrix setup. Twin engines or twin motor, electric motors, it has controlled a differential or a differential thrust. They are brushless motors. Wow. Got a light package. Pretty bright, huh? Look at that. Broad daylight and you can see the lights. Um, flying on a one cell 800 milliamp battery. I think it's the same battery that was in the Ultrix or pretty close to it. But in any event, hey, just showing you uh, some of the things this plane can do kind of close in. Um, and there's other videos starting to pop up on YouTube, uh, particular uh, Michael Klein, um, that, that are showing this thing flying up in the snow in Michigan. They're on floats, and he's doing some just crazy stuff with them, hovering and all kinds of stuff, which, which shows you the, the flight envelope of this model. For me, for me, my flying style, I'm going to be doing mostly scale, stole bush flying with it. Um, and then when I bring it back down towards Barstow area, which is south of here a couple of hours, um, I'm going to be flying it off of some smaller dry lakes and uh, dry lake beds and things like that. We'll get her out in the brush. We'll get those tires dirty, okay? So in any event, hey, I hope you like what you're seeing. Uh, go ahead and please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, ding, ding, so you know when more videos are popping up, not just of this, but of all sorts of other neat airplanes. Um, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, so I, I try to answer questions as, as I can. So, so don't hesitate to do that. I look forward to interacting with y'all, seeing what you think. So, hey, this plane, I'm, yeah, I'm getting close to giving it two thumbs up. It's really close. So uh, in any event, thanks for watching, everybody. Blue skies, happy landings, and all the best from Just Wing It. Cheers, everyone.